Lord to love. Don't say, I don't like the way you do something. Mm -hmm. You say, I'm going to love him with a godly love. Get rid of that old, that old sexual love that you think, well, you think, oh, I can't love him because he's ugly. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Amen. I can't love him because he don't look like me. God say, love your neighbor. And you can move to the wilderness where ain't nobody out there but you for hundreds of miles mm -hmm. and you still got a neighbor. Amen. Right. Amen. That you must love. God's word stand alone. You, you, don't need, you don't need to add no provisions to cover nothing in there. Amen. All you're doing is trying to find some loopholes. All right. And what you need to do is take it at face value yes. and adhere to it. You understand? Because sometimes this is a little tough. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, it is. This is a little tough because it makes you have to change the way you want to think. Mm -hmm. But but when you give your life to Christ, Christ said, man, <coughs> man, being a creature becomes a being Christ becomes a creature. all them old things. Pass away. That means if you still holding on to the old, you have not accepted the new. All right. What does that mean? That means you ain't saved. Mm. You haven't accepted Christ, so the only way you get saved is that you accept Christ as your Savior. Yes. All right. And, and, and God gave some provisions. So if you accept me, all that other stuff got to go away. He yeah. gave us some examples. You say you can't put new wine in the old vat. Amen. You got new wine got to be put in a new vat. Because you put new wine in the old vat, it's going to bust that vat wide open. Mm -hmm. And when you try to put the Spirit of God on top of Satan, it ain't going to work. Thank you. Your mind oh, thank must you. be changed. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah, it, it must be renewed all the way again. And that's a process. Yes, sir. It's a process that you can't stop because when you stop, most of the time you got to start all over. Yes. And if you didn't make it through when you started, it's going to be harder to get through when you start over. Amen. So it's just a step-by-step -step thing. God, I, I need you to lead me. All right. When you get up in the morning, God, lead me. Lead me. God, show me what you want me to do. Yes. God, strengthen me as I walk down this walk. God, help me. I see danger coming. Well, well you say, well, how do you know I see danger? Every time you step out, that's danger. Yes, it is. Because Satan don't want you to walk with him. Yes. And the only reason you ain't asking for help is because you think you're big and bad enough to... Yeah. Mm. As soon as you start thinking you're big and bad enough, you're in trouble. Mm. Yeah. You're in trouble. So, 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 so we can't... God's word stands all by itself. Amen. And then what's in our hearts is what comes out. Like I told you before, it's not what we eat that comes out. It's what's in our heart. It's the hatred that we feel for one another. It's the disdain that we feel for one another. Sometimes it's our own uh, uh, lack of self-confidence we feel for ourselves. Yes. Amen. Because when, when you're not confident in you, everything bothers you. Yes. Huh? Everything affects you. So you got to believe that God is taking care of you. Because every time a storm blows, you get to running. And every time you get to running, you run right into a wall. And now, now you just don't have the storm that, that was originally running from. You done created a new storm because you done ran into the wall and busted your nose open. Mm -hmm. now, 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 now it's bleeding and you can't see where you're going. Mm -hmm. So right. now you got yourself in another trouble because you're trying to still get away and now you run into a ditch. <laughs> and, 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 and when you get to praying to God, you want him to get you out of the ditch, but you got a busted nose. All right. Huh? And God said, the problem is you ran from me in the first place. We got to fix your running before we can deal with your ditch and your busted nose. Amen. Amen. So if, if you're not staying in the Word of God, all kinds of other trouble come up on you. Right. And you forget what got you in trouble the first thing. And you might have enough sense to pray, but you don't know what to pray for. And since you don't have the Holy Spirit praying for you, God said, I need to leave them in that condition for a while. Mm -hmm. Teach them a lesson. And you reject the lesson because you don't understand. 
And then all of that, that fear and that, that hatred and that feeling of being unwanted gets stored up in your heart. Mm -hmm. And when you run to somebody who God want to use you to help, all, all they get is hatred, fear, disappointment. They come and tell you about the problem, but you don't want to hear them, do you? I got problems of mine. We got to realize that those feelings that we have don't come because you walked in the church and the fans were not blowing and you were high. Come on now. <laughs> come on now. You, yeah. you got to realize that, 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 that you don't get stressed out uh, because things didn't go the way you wanted them to go. You got to realize that, that what is coming out of you is what is in your heart. It's not that you ate some some chili beans and some, some pork, pork uh, uh, feet for, for, for last night. Last night. That, 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 that ain't why you got indigestion. Whatever you put in your stomach is going to be dissolved. The, the reason you so irritable at times is what's in your heart. The rest of that stuff don't really matter. Take some milk and magnesia or whatever you take, you'll be all right. <laughs> Get some tongues for your stomach or something. But what's coming out of your mouth is not that. All right. This was in your heart and you irritated. Because there ain't no love in there. Ain't no joy in there. Come on now. When you got a little joy, you can have an upset stomach and not cuss nobody out. Amen. Right. Amen. Huh? Yeah. And then we, we, we pull that loophole. I just wouldn't feel it well. <laughs> It ain't got nothing but what came out of your mouth. Right. <laughs> we got to realize that. Everything that comes out of our mouth comes out of our heart. Yes, sir. And if, if, if love is in your heart, love comes out. Yes, sir. If joy is in your heart, joy comes out. Amen. If peace is in your heart, peace comes out. Yes. If, if love for your neighbor is in your heart, that's what comes out. Yes, if, if praise for God for keeping you through all the storms of life is what's in your heart, praise comes out. Amen. And you don't need no praise team to get it out. All right, God. Because that's what's in there. Yeah, amen. You are thankful to God for all that he's done for you. Yes. Yes. Because you recognize in yourself that the trouble that you're in, you got yourself in it. And the only way you hear today is because of the grace of God. Amen. That God looked down on you and saw your pitiful condition. Amen. And gave you enough strength and power to rise up out of that condition. Amen. And I'm bring good. yourself into the church house. Yes. And praise God. So you hear thankful today. Amen. You hear making a joyful noise today. Amen. Because you know. If it was not for the Lord Amen. on my side, where would I be? I could have been dead sleeping in my grave. But God made all death. Amen. It's all right. And it wasn't because I've been so good. Say that now. But it's because of his love. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Loophole. Don't work with the Lord. All right. All the loopholes do is get you deeper in the pit. Yeah. Amen. Yeah.